All right, so for the uh, reciprocal trig equations, uh, you know, always get the trig part by itself uh, before you do this step. So secant of x is equal to negative 2. So I'm just going to rewrite this in terms of cosine. All right, if secant is equal to negative 2, that means that cosine is equal to negative 1 half. And you just want to find the, the two angles you know, between 0 and 2 pi where cosine is equal to negative 1 half. All right. All right. Cosine is going to equal uh, negative 1 half in these two positions. Yeah, it's got to be negative in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3. So it looks like I'm going to go with 120 and 240. Or that would be 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. Okay, those are my two angles that'll do it. And I don't have to flip these or anything. I just, I converted the equation into, cos into a cosine equation by flipping it. So these are my answers. All right, for cosecant, cosecant is equal to something that is undefined. So uh, the times where you get something that is undefined is whenever you have uh, division by zero. So I don't know what the top is. It's supposed to be a number. But any time that you get something undefined usually happens when you divide by zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rewrite it in terms of sine. But I'm going to reciprocate this. Right? I'm going to flip this so that I get zero on top. So this is my actual equation. I just want to find where sine of x is equal to 0. Right. That's going to happen at two, two different places. Yeah, two different places from 0 to 2 pi, where the y value is 0. It's going to happen at 0, and it's also going to happen over here at pi, or 180 degrees. So those are it. 0 and 180. Nice. Now let's look at that. One more here, cotangent. All right, so cotangent is equal to negative root 3. So let me flip it. This means that tangent is equal to negative 1 over root 3. And then from here, you can probably reach for your spider web, uh, figuring it out here. So because, because tangent is negative, I know that means it can't be these two quadrants. It's got to be in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. All right. Here we go. I want tangent to give me 1 over root 3. All right. So 1 over root 3 happens at my little 30 degree angles. All right. 1 over root 3. So I'm wanting the 30 degree angle or the one that will be a reference to it, that's in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3. So right there is what I'm looking for. That looks like it is at 150 degrees. And in quadrant 3, it looks like it's 30 degrees shy of a full 360. So that would be 330 degrees. All right. I just verify if you wanted to. We'll verify it since we have some time. All right, mode. I'm in degree mode here. If I do tangent of 150, all right, it is negative. And if I divide this out, 1 divided by root 3, yep, 0.577. Nice. Uh, tangent of 330? Yep. Same answer. That's what I'm looking for. Yay!